With that, we'll move on. Uh, review and possible approval of a plan to replace the parking lot lights at the Toma High School. And um, Mr. Gorder has yep, up some numbers. and screen here we have a uh, proposal to replace the outdoor high school electrical lighting. Uh, that lighting out in the parking lot has been there probably since the school was built. And what we're starting underground in the parking lot itself or around the buildings are, are just starting to uh, deteriorate. And what that means is the, uh, we don't have lights in the parking lot. Um, I think, I don't know how that's moving. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if that was the trouble. I guess we're back to normal now. <laughs> uh, anyways, we need to do something about it. I know uh, Mrs. Deming and uh, Mr. Hennessy were you out there? We were looking at that the other night at the annual meeting, and there were two lights put on. We did have our uh, electrician come in and you know, put a temporary fix in, but I'm sure the rain probably has, has changed that outlook. So, and what it's creating is really a, a safety hazard out there, not only for people who are walking to their cars, but you know, just leaving your cars parked out there. So we need to do something about that. So what we're proposing tonight is not a, an approval of any of the specific vendors, but approval of a project in the neighborhood of sixty to seventy thousand dollars so that we can move ahead and start that work. What we will do is we will seek proposals from at least three vendors um, so that we can uh, you know get the best price that we possibly can uh, when appropriate. Uh, certainly uh, you have a lot of different things here. It'll be easy to get three vendors for the lighting. Up here you can already see the different range uh, and one of them is using 11 uh, average foot candles. We'll be looking at that 1.5 to 2 range. Uh, so we'll want to uh, uh, find which is, is going to be the best for the school district there, whether it's nine, nine poles or whether it's eight or seven, and then we'll uh, put that off a bit. And then some surface prep work there for we're going to have to put in uh, new support columns and new poles, and then uh, uh, conduit wiring in the ground. So the total project. Uh, again, it would cost between sixty and seventy thousand dollars. The the one with the eleven foot candles that's just a complete outlying quote. I mean, it, you don't really see that is within no. the uh, industry standard is uh, uh, one to two uh, average foot candles. Okay. Yeah. We've talked to numerous suppliers on that. Yeah. Okay. I think they should put a bit decimal point in there. Should be 1.1. <laughs> it does seem odd. They also have double the amount of lights, though. Yeah, they have eight oh, okay. versus nine, seven, and eight yeah. or so. And but that would have been based on the same sort of. Uh, they were provided something. Um, to well, that's what they're recommending to us. These yeah. are different suppliers that are recommending to us. So. That's where we're just getting an idea of what the project cost will be. So what we will do is then go back and submit, and let them know what we want, so that they can give us prices on those things. Okay. Can I ask a question? Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm wondering about the fiber optic to the football field. Yes, that's planned to get installed in there too. Would it? What about the possibility of that going up to the? There's contingencies to put that in the press box once we get okay. to that point. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and, but uh, even apart from the foot candles, it, we'd be going from the sodium to the LED, LED and so the light, quality would, of yes. light would be mm -hmm. better. Yes. better. Okay. And what we will do once we have the final quote together, we can either bring that back to the board facilities. Uh, uh, for final approval, if you approve the spending of sixty to seventy thousand dollars for the actual work itself, or we can bring the contracts back or the recommended uh, uh, vendor back for okay. board approval. Either way, any way you want to do it. Yeah, just general approval to go what, forward. What we're trying to do is, if there's any chance of getting this done before winter, we would love to see that done. Of course, we have to deal with the budget numbers, so we're not committing to anything until we find out. Um, mm -hmm. Where everything starts to shake out after the third Friday home. Okay, so general approval to go forward. And yeah, and approval, you know, pending budgets for the sixty to seventy thousand dollars. Okay. 
switching to LED will really have a significant reduction yeah. in energy costs moving forward. So that will be helpful in the long run. Any questions? I hope I'm got this mm -hmm. clear. Yeah. Anything else? Process facility. Really we're looking at process to right to now. To enlighten us. Excuse the pun. <laughs> Just so it has to be done. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. sounds like it. Yeah, no question. At the football game Friday night, the, there were lights that were off in the parking lot. So. They were out? Or? There were some that were out. It's going to be an ongoing battle to get it. So okay. We went through last winter. We need to look at it uh, moving forward this year. Yeah. And I mean, why might you ask why did we, we wait so long? Again, you wouldn't have been able to prove this project. Uh, you know, until this point in time, anyways, given the fact that we move forward with the other security projects first. Okay. I make a motion to approve the plan up to seventy thousand. That's fine. Up to seventy thousand. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the uh, general plan to replace parking lot lights at the Toma High School. Um, for an amount up to seventy thousand dollars. Any questions or comments concerning that plan? Would the attempt at least? I know we're not talking about replacing the lights down in the teacher parking lot, but would that eventually occur? It could, if we needed to. I don't know that we're feeling a sense of urgency right. or a I need. Mean, just down the road. Down the road, yes. Yep. Yeah. It's just in the student parking area. Right now, you have wall packs that are pretty close to the building, which give us natural or give us light to the uh, staff parking right across. And then you do have one pole on the very end where the the teachers park. They give a significant light there. Okay, and so this this will be back before the board then after there's more specifics. It was up to, depending on what you wanted to do in the motion. If you you know feel comfortable. If you uh, are okay with this, uh, you know, you uh, obviously there's a motion to approve up to seventy thousand dollars in expenditures. We can bring it back, or you can give that authority to the board facilities to approve the final contracts. That's really your choice, or the final vendors. It makes no difference. Yeah. Any thoughts on that? I know in this case, uh, you know, you've already looked at different quotes on it. We um, haven't put anything together. We're just. You know, that's one of the things when you're trying to bring an estimate into the, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. So, you, you know, in some ways on a project like this, um, then we go back and start looking at uh, requests for proposals. You have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would think in the interest of time to get it done by the, that we would allow the facilities to, we would make the approval. That would be my recommendation, which I think Judy already said. Okay. And move forward. Okay. Any other thoughts on that? Well, it's never going to get any cheaper to do. No. I mean, we wait two years, it'll be yeah. more expensive. Mm -hmm. So that's my thoughts, you know. Yeah. It's like happened Greg, to me. Excuse me, Jenna. That's okay. Like Greg said, it's uh, really feasible to get it done before winter. Yes. If we can. We, you know, we'll press hard with it. Um, yeah. Okay. I we'll see. We're, sure. I'm really anxious about the third Friday count right now. So, <laughs> see what that does. Get worked up about that yet? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm asking you to prove this. Then I am getting worked up. So, but we won't make that expenditure. And if there's some changes with that, we'll obviously we'll come back and talk to the board because you'll be setting the levy in October, and we won't move forward until we're sure of what we have or don't have. Okay. Um, then we'll just go forward with the motion um, to approve the plan as presented um, for up to seventy thousand dollars for the the facilities committee to um, finish for yeah ultimate review by the facilities committee. Sounds good. Okay. Um, any other comments or questions? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say no. Thank you. The ayes have it. Motion carries.